Let's get started on our WDS server by choosing when our server should respond to a client. Our options are all, known, or none. All will respond to all devices. Known will only respond to pre-staged devices, and none will not respond to Pixie requests. I will choose all. Next, consider if you want to require devices that have not been previously approved to wait until an administrator approves the device on the WDS server. I will leave this option disabled. Finally, we need to select our boot program. This will determine what architectures we will support. The 32-bit legacy BIOS option will support both 32 and 64-bit BIOS. If you need to support both BIOS and UEFI, look at using an IP helper address or DHCP raw options. We will apply our WDS server settings using the WDS util set server command and set our client response settings and auto approve policy. We can validate our changes by using the WDS get server command to display the config, then use select string to parse out the relevant parts of the config. Now that our WDS server is configured the way we want, we will set some DHCP response options. So when a device connects to the network and receives its IP address, it will also be informed about how and where it can Pixie boot from. For the computer name parameter, we will set it to the name of our DHCP server. We will identify the DHCP scope we want to apply these changes to. We are changing option 66, this is the TFTP server name option, and we will set the value of option 66 to the IP or FQDN of our WDS server. After we apply these changes to our DHCP server, we will set option 67, which specifies the boot file a client should load. We will set this to the boot program which we identified previously. Now, let's take a look at our DHCP settings and check the values of option 66 and option 67. Now, we will boot a client machine with Pixie set as its first boot option. After we hit enter, we can see it loading the boot.wim from our WDS server. After we select our language and enter our admin credentials, we can deploy this machine. Thanks for watching.